Well, hello everybody, Smithy here, and welcome to another episode of our Jurassic World in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, we've got some T-Rexes hovering around, one's uh, sitting down there, the uh, male. Female's here, the brown one, and uh, what I want to show you is I've been doing quite a bit since last time, I'll show you that in a minute. But what I wanted to show you is how I came about to the design of the new T-Rex forest viewing area. Now I'm calling it a forest viewing area because it is a T-Rex kingdom. Uh, but there's two T-Rex kingdoms. One is the big uh, big stand up by the uh, innovation center, which I think the reason why this has been built is because they've moved the T-Rexes out into the wild. And the idea was that Indominus Rex would be in the big arena by uh, the innovation center right at the Vista Center so yeah let's have a look I started out with this little design here uh, which just was too small uh, it, it, it's, it was here and it just wasn't uh, it wasn't easy to build it looked quite ugly and I'll show you now uh, it looked quite ugly because it was small this one around here by the way yeah so it's quite it didn't look very good so in the end I decided as well after playing around with it that the new new shape will be this one here now this is quite and I've played around this was the old floor level this is the new floor level uh, where people can see now these uh, T-Rexes for the for Jurassic Craft are a bit smaller than the T-Rexes for the uh, uh, fossil and archaeology mod and I'm going to go and get one of those in a minute because I'll ride one in to show you well not in a minute if probably a bit later uh, so in the end I've decided on this model I used the to get the circle all the way around to try it out on different practices I used a thing called plots which is P-L-O-T-Z if you search in Google you'll find it Minecraft plots and it gives you the the actual circle as is so and then of course once I built this big one it was too low there was no legs uh, at all so I couldn't do much with that so then I've repositioned it now the one thing I do want it is to have some legs underneath uh, so what I'm going to do now is just want to show you that how I went through some of the design phase what I'm going to do is take all this out now and come back and you can see that I have started uh, putting in the the actual where people walk out so I'll come back once I've done that so here we are back I'm going to show you some of the design features here uh, the easiest way to it's quite actually easy to do this because uh, I've just put these in I just literally go like this all the way across uh, I could do it using oh there we go I'm gonna leave that tree there now because uh, that's where it's going so you've got to work out where you go in across here that needs to come out it's just a case of landscaping it out uh, and just join it in I will put all these in eight later but you can either do this but I just find easiest ways to keep going back and two including this tree well this tree's gonna have to go so I've got no choice really I must not have anything attached to it so let's see before I cut it down very sadly but it'll have to go yeah there we go I will put some more trees in back afterwards can't do much about that however it looked quite good for a, a leg Oh no! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, well, by ne. Whoa, that must have been touching. Uh, <laughs> so I just lost that a whole lot. Uh, it's all right. Uh, as you can see, it's quite. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I will uh, put some of the features in. <laughs> well, that's funny, I must admit. You've got to laugh when that happens. Because uh, it was tree wood, of course. Uh, some of the features, <laughs> if luckily I can see where that goes. Right, I will do a bit more of just the basic outline, uh, including the floor. But I just wanted to show you that how to put that on. And I'm not going to do much more with that. Right, so all the wood came out of there as well. And uh, that was really... Mm, no, that one's there. So that one's there. Yeah. And you've got to get the wood right because I want it as a, a log going the other way just to give that aesthetic feeling. Uh, so what I'll do is, <laughs> sorry I can't get over that. I will try that again. And and you noticed I put some uh, leaves and stuff in here for the T-Rexes. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to put that back. <coughs> I might actually use, I might just go all the way down here again and then 
because it's a funny shape. Oop. Aha. Oh, here we go again. Oh, well, I'm just going to take that tree out piecemeal and leave it there. And I just want to show you the legs, and then what I'll do is do a bit more of this, and then uh, we shall come back. One, two, three, four. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So it's just a case of doing that. And what I might do is just use this set, and uh, I can do use uh, use. No, I can't. I just realised I can't use world edit because I need to turn them around. Uh, because there is a way of doing it, but I'm not a super duper world edit uh, user. I just literally am able to do the basics. So you can see it doesn't take actually quite. It doesn't take that long. Once you've got the pattern in to do the tunnel, it just doesn't. It's dead easy, isn't it? Oh, there's one there, gone a bit funny, but so you've got to work out. <clears throat> right, so let's just put some legs in for you to see. And there you go, so that's the four at the bottom. Right, let's put some of the hello, you're interested, aren't you? You won't be able to get out, we're going to have to make a tunnel underneath uh, to let you wander through and underneath. Uh, yeah. So the tunnel, in fact, what I should have done is if I wanted to make two legs, if I do here. Just do this really. And there we go. Because all they've done is use tree trunks. So there's one. And then I'll do another one just round about. Oh, it's one of those. Look, it's gone the wrong way. Uh, so if I put one there, let's just put one here. And then I can sort of make a an underpass. Or I could make an underpass there anyway. But the idea is that the T Rexes can just come in anyway. Let's just do it here and put that. I just wanted to show you how the design works so that if you wanted to build it yourself, it's quite easy to do. In fact, what I'll do is just show you. <coughs> you can see the pattern there, so you can freeze frame it. It's uh, literally it's four, two, two, four, two, two. Uh, this is the four underneath, but as you know, I've just put this in just to fill it up. <coughs> I don't need to now because it's uh, going to be lit anyway. And then you just keep going round so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I will <clears throat> do that uh, get it halfway and then come back and show you what I'm gonna do with the poor Allosaurus which is stuck in here so I need to tame it uh, however Allosaurus is exactly like the T-Rex in the fossils mod in that you need to have a scarab gem now I'm not going to spend the next six years mining for a scarab gem so I'm going to uh, port it in and uh, tame it so let's just do a bit more of this build and then we'll come back so here we are uh, this is the base of it uh, the, come on Jurassic Craft fix the raw we want the raw back I know uh, the reason why the raw has gone by the way I do know is the fact they're putting some more sounds in so they've had to change the sound system or changing the sound system to allow some more types of sound but please bring back the roar we love the dinosaur roar uh, anyway you can see now that I've got this here however I haven't put the roof on yet I'm going to go inside so and I haven't done the tunnel up to the other area but you can see when you come in here at the moment we have just a tunnel which is pretty big uh, now I'm going to decorate the inside but uh, what I want to show you what I'm going to do with these skylights to let light in I'm gonna have skylight so what I'm doing is four and then I'm just going one two three four across there and then literally I put the glass blocks in again now you need some pretty tough blocks because I can imagine dinosaurs getting on the roof of this some clever dinosaurs getting on top of the roof of it that's no good so we're really chunky uh, chunky stuff on here but just to give that impression of a sort of like a you can see into the sky just in case there's something around so it just gives that extra bit of uh, uh, light as well inside <clears throat> rather than have to use artificial light for the build so it's quite easy to do as I say again it just sort of I feel it just finishes it off and the eagle-eyed among you probably have been going but I can see another one of these through the forest I'm sure you have uh, he hasn't taken us to show you that one well I'm going to show you that one this is in our country we have something called blue Peter in the UK and in the best blue Peter traditions and what they used to do is because it was a quick fire show they always used to have another one made behind which they pulled out from under the desk so in the best blue Peter traditions for you people in the UK and anybody else has seen blue Peter because that was my childhood uh, we will show you and I'll explain about this as well why I haven't closed this end off and show you what we're going to do so now it will all become apparent 
uh, my grand master plans for this area and where it goes because I know I've already been asked make it bigger make the area bigger now if I had a naturally spawning tiger biome then I could the one good thing about this as well I'm intending keeping these dinosaurs here they can get in as I will show you so let me just show you that so let's just show you this so there you go <clears throat> I've decided to just leave it open at the top uh, for now so it's quite a big pipe and I haven't decorated the inside yet and I'm going to show you how to do that afterwards so let's go over here because if you eagle-eyed among you you would have seen that I've already done one over there oh yes <clears throat> this was my trial one over here now oh there's a sheep inside funny funny uh, so you can see that I have got one going back over there and what I'm doing is integrating it into the landscape so you will see here that there is a corner and what will happen is uh, I will in fact what I need to just do there is this which is oh I can't do that now should have done that I'll have to go inside and take it out actually if I just do that and then I can have a proper corner piece and I'll take those out when I go inside uh, yeah so this is sitting here and you can see there is <clears throat> yeah the sheep's watching me uh, you can see I've got the stands underneath but what I wanted to do was make this big enough for the T-Rex is to go underneath like put like a, an underpass uh, because they will however my aim with this is so you can see the T-Rexes uh, now what am I doing right okay let's go back to this so here we go that is going to go in that hillside there and it is going to go under there and it will meet up with this one over here so it will meet back so when the visitors come in they will come in and go round and out and across now for making it bigger that's never right uh, over here is and there's some more here some more t-rexes there's another one here look this is where we bred the t-rexes and the raptors so I can now, what I can do is extend, and that's died there, look, because I've done some funny business with that. I did something earlier on. Don't think it will work. I think I might have to manually take that out. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll have to manually take that out. So we've sort of got a valley, a T-Rex valley as such now. Uh, right, what's going to happen over here? Well, over here, there is a natural hillside. And if I go back to here, I'm going to take the Allosaurus out now. When I get to here, the whole idea now will be to put a court, to turn this round inside and run along the hillside and make it part, make the exhibit part of the hillside. So the visitors will be able to look out <clears throat> into the valley that way. That's not quite uh, how we've seen it, but I want to do it that way. This is my build. Uh, and then you should be able to see the T-Rexes. Right. What do we do with the Allosaurus? Well, the Allosaurus, <clears throat> like a lot of the fossils in archaeology, when you log off and log back in, you end up finding the dinosaurs stuck in holes, and I can't get them out. So let's show you how to get it out. I need to ride this or uh, summon it, but I can't tame it. Uh, let's go and get the book out. <clears throat> I need to tame the T-Rex and the... Uh, I need to tame the T-Rex and these allosauruses with a scarab gem so and I can't ride it and I can't order it at the moment it's called dangerous so there we go uh, so and I can't, I can't f actually feed it uh, but I don't think that's gonna make any bit of difference so let's just chuck some food out will it eat it oh I think they're gonna eat it no, it's not eating it. Right, it's picked that back up. Right, let's get the Scarab Gem. Scarab Gem. Now, it's not as easy as you think. So let's just put that in it. I need a sword. Uh, get rid of that. I need a sword. And I can't use that one because that's a flame sword. So I just need a normal sword to get its power down to a certain point. Uh Oh, if I need to order anything with an arrow, I'll get it. Right, okay. So at the moment, its health is 18. And I need to get it down below 7. So I've got to hit it, sadly. If I can. 
Yeah, one, two. It's down. There you go. So now I need to apply the Scarab Gem. It lies down. You can't see it. There we go. So we've tamed it. Look, its eyes gone black. So we've tamed it. So now I've got to ride it and get it out of here, hopefully. Uh, oh, in fact, I could order it, if I remember rightly. Uh, order with a bone. So if I've got a bone, I might be able to get it out. Let's go. So let's order it. If I get the back, it'll go. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Let's see. Stay. Follow. Right, now I can say follow. If you ever get them stuck in, and uh, watch this. I'm going to put the Allosaurus down here. It'll come out with me. Yeah, there you go. It's like a wolf. So when you stand on here, we'll get it back down to here. Hey, there you go. So once I've got that, I can free move. So let's ride it. So I need a whip. I need a whip. I need a whip. I need a whip to ride it. And I love these rideable dinosaurs because I'll show you something. There we go. We're off. Hey. So let me just come out to F5. Hey. And there we go. Let's go have a look at this one. <clears throat> Now, what I forgot to show, I don't think I can go through there. Oh, yes, look, you can go underneath. Hey, hey, we like that. Just tall enough to go underneath there. So, let's get off this. We have now got our Allosaurus. You can press the shift key to get off. And there we are. Right. So, there's the Allosaurus. And I'll let you show you something over here. I don't want them to escape yet, but they're going to go. Over here, we have... I know, because I brought it in and he's disappeared again. Hey, hey, there we go. Oh. Ah, that's another one that needs some food, I think. He's on his last legs. 7.5, almost dead. So, let's get the Scarab Gem again. Now, if I can get this alive, we should be all right. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, I've got so much rubbish in here. Right, let's just Scarab Gem it. Right, and then I feed it quickly. There we go. Come on, feed. Feed. No, oh, actually, I'm going to have to feed this myself, I just realised. So let's feed this. Come on. Come on. Should be able to. Let's just check. Oh, 37 health. Right, okay, so let's ride this one then to see if this one works. It's Now it's mine. Oh. I've tamed it. What's going on here? Rideable bone. Oh, I wonder if it's been ordered to stay. Just must you must check that it might not. I can't. Uh, let me just move it. Come on, move. Come on. Come on. You can push it sometimes. Something's stuck here, I think. Yeah, it is stuck. Come on. It's stuck. So it's stuck in this tree. So let's just play. Let's watch this. Oh, no, that wasn't supposed to do that. Come on. You're stuck. In fact, can I order it? No, I can't at the moment. So you get this every now and again, a couple of glitches. All right. <laughs> Right, we'll leave that one for now and I'll come back and see what we do. Anyway, let's go back to the female fossil and archaeology one. Oy. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go. Let's go and take you. Ooh, hey, careful. Oh, it's going a bit faster. Can we go up here? Oh, yeah, look. Come on. Oh, nearly. Oh, yeah, we're at. Look at that. Hey, up over the top. Wee. <laughs> Hey, hey, let's go down. And the trouble is, the dinosaurs could actually go on here, look. Let's bring, see how big this one is. Okay. Right, just leave you there. Okay. There you go. So we've got different types now. Right, what we're going to do, anyway, we're going <laughs> to show you how to fix this. So... What I've decided over here is I've done some viewing windows where I think they're best and I've just kept the viewing windows to six uh, and I look, I've got them going on the round bit around, I've got them around the circular bit as well. So this one's one of the main ones so we can have two viewing windows here so let's go inside and work out. In fact I don't need to go inside. First one, let's go in here. So first viewing window could be here, one, two, ooh, 
yeah, two, three, four, five, six. So, as you have noticed, I have also taken out that. So, one, two, three, four, oh, four, five. Oh, it's only five. Isn't it? One, I can't see because of the light. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, six. There we go. So then you've put the view window in. I'm just going to take these out. And that's how easy it is. And then, oh, yeah, that's the path. So literally, you've got the viewing globe there. And what it is, it's the light shot. I, it's not the light on here, you can actually see, but uh, where I'm actually doing this, the computer's got the sunlight uh, shining through the window, even though I've got covers here. Right. So there's one viewing window. <clears throat> and I'll put another one in round about here. Let's put it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah. And that's how easy it is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a viewing window in the other side as well. Yeah. Listen to that noise. Oh, rain's here. Get rid of that rain. Always rains in the forest. So, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. We'll go ahead inside. And that's it. Oh no, I haven't done the top bit. Just do this top bit. So, when you go back inside, uh, you have the viewing windows here where you come up to here. Oh, hey, look! This one's hiding here. Is she, she going to poke her head up? And then uh, the Jurassic, the fossil archaeology ones are slightly bigger. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Right, uh, what we're going to do inside, I haven't got anything to show you. Go oh, as I have, I could show you this. Uh, what I'm looking at inside is some sort of, uh, sort of bringing it into a design feature. You know, like, so it's inside, and then when it comes to the windows, it's quite... Uh, so I'm going to give you that sort of design, uh, oh, just to add to it really, because I noticed that the, the tube itself had a, a lot of design features in, and it's just to, to make it a bit lighter as well, like that, see, uh, just to sort of give it a bit of a much circular area like that, and then when you come to the windows, you can see the T-Rexes. Right, okay. Uh, we're motoring on there, so what I'm going to do is going to uh, have a go a bit more of this and then we'll come back. What I'm going to do is try and do this, work out where exactly I'm going to come uh, with that particular bit which is going to be literally part of the hillside uh, and uh, so that the dinosaurs can actually walk above you in this particular uh, section so it won't have glass on it as such. Might put a couple of portals in, but we shall see. Right, okay, I'll come back after. Well, you'd be glad to know I finally got this one to work. I came back. Oh, there's another one down there. Look, a green one. Oh, it's not been tamed yet. Yeah, I got this one to work as well. So uh, this one is fine. Quite happy. I'm going to bring It's good because you can bring the dinosaurs back into the area you want. Uh, so I had to do it a second time, though. There's a bit of a... What I find is every now and again this happens on the fossils mod where it doesn't just completely work. Uh, let's do that. What are we doing? Yeah. Oh, there's the other one just to prove it. So we've got two in here. That's all cool. Right. Okay. Well, oh, this is the... Oh, it's the gap with that one. Let's go underneath them. Let's go back over here. You've already come over here. Yeah. There we go. So you can see our new viewing area over there with the water. Right. Uh, what I was going to do was going to do some more. And I can't even get off this blinking one. Right. I'll come back again because I didn't do any more build. I just went and rescued that one. Right, uh, we've uh, gone quite a way on this, and you can see the T-Rex is wandering all over the top of the exhibit. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, I'll push her off. Push her off. Go on. Push her off. Go on. Get back off there. Go on. Go on. Go on. Push her off. Whee! There you go. It made a noise when she hit the bomb. Anyway, now we're coming to the... I've had to do a bit of fun here. Let's go on the end where this is. Uh, I'm trying to bury this... 
uh, in under the ground you can see it will be once I've done the terraforming it means that people the dinosaurs will be able to walk over the top of it this I've had to put it in first and then I'm putting the landscape in afterwards uh, it's quite easy to do to be honest uh, you just make it <coughs> blend it in I haven't finished that so I just need to yeah blend it in yeah so uh, you sort of blend it in and then I'm blending in the steps down to here as well so uh, I should be able to just quite actually easy do this because it's just a case of putting step in. And then what I'm going to do is, you've got, if I cut through here a minute just to show you, uh, we have got the wall here. This is the wall, is it? Let's just make sure before I get it. Oh no, that's not the wall. Yes, that's, oh, hold on a minute, let's get this right. Uh, it's just got to be exactly right. Yeah, there's the wall, the floor, there's the wall. So what I have to do now is put this, uh, four blocks in which will go from here and then once I've done that I'll build the ground and then what we'll have is like some viewing areas that you can walk out in through so I'm gonna do a different design to the tunnel that's the only way I can actually make it work so and then put all the soil in uh, and you'll see next time because that is the end of the video for this particular version I did say it would take three times to get the viewing area in but the idea is that the dinosaurs can walk in over the uh, area into the feeding arena I'm gonna make it a feeding arena a feeder but what I've got to do of course I've got to make the pipe come down and round and underneath this and then match up with uh, this one round here there you go so I've got to do a bit of a, a bit of an underground feature uh, to get round through here and then to meet up so I don't ruin the landscape and where they come in so I hope you've enjoyed that uh, I hope you enjoyed how you build this quite an easy build it's just uh, like because I'm making it bigger than I expected it's taken a bit longer uh, if you like the video please press that like button if you haven't done already uh, please make comments uh, I'm will making this slightly bigger because I want to open it out that way I want to put the windows in both sides like I've done with that and then to finish off the exhibit uh, next time so yeah thanks very much indeed for watching and bye bye for now